Hey everybody, so I hope you're having a really fantastic day. Today I'm going to share with you a week in the life of my curly hair and if you didn't see my original one I will redo the sort of disclaimer for this which is that I am a stay-at-home mum, I have two kids and so if you're someone that is going to want to watch this to know what to do with a nine-to-five job, how to make your hair look nice every day, I do not know the answer to that but I do know what I do every day <laughs> in the winter when it's raining, it's windy, it's cold and just how I choose to do my hair every day. I do like to make sure I look nice for the school run and I don't know, hopefully there'll be something in there for everybody. So yeah, I hope you really, really enjoy watching the rest of this. So today is Tuesday, it's kind of sunny outside. I've already dropped my son off at school and I just had it up in one of these clips. These are like a large jaw clip and I find them super handy and I have brushed it this morning in the hopes that somehow that might help it. It's day three hair and I don't know, I've been using kind of products I'm not used to the last couple of washes and they are a little bit too kind of protein heavy and not clarifying quite enough. But you can see how long my hair is these days. So I'm not gonna refresh today and I'm also not gonna wash it because I just don't have time. There are other things I wanna do with my day. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might brush it again and then just see how that turns out. So if you didn't already know, I do brush my hair quite often. I have a whole video about why I brush my hair. It's because I used to have an itchy scalp and it's the one thing that actually stopped my scalp from itching. This bit here is always my nemesis. But I can kind of finger coil things into shape. I am going to leave it like that and then basically I reckon throughout today it's going to go like even more stringy at the front. See how there's like mm, seriously straight bit there. There's not much I can do about that and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to refresh because when I tried to refresh it yesterday, the products I used that were new just weren't working out for me. But I'll probably clip those bits back for the day and then I can kind of get away with anything if I clip those bits back. So that is all I'm going to do today. You'll find me doing a lot more updos in the winter just because in the winter in England it pretty much is kind of rainy <laughs> and that kind of rain that's like really fine rain that just is not cool for your hair. <laughs> so it should be an interesting week for you guys but there we go. Day one. just want to show you the reality. I walk to school twice a day and this is pretty much how I come back in the winter. A bit of a mess but I will just re-brush it and then oh gosh it's so tangled I definitely need to brush it when I've put it down usually I would put it up and then like either underneath my hood or in a hat which you'll probably see during the week but oh it's so tangled if I don't brush it now it's just going to be a massive knotty mess by the end of the day the joys of longer hair hey so I just wanted to show you it rebrushed because I think like every time I rebrush it the curls kind of get slightly looser but I always kind of like it when it gets even bigger and bigger and bigger so there you go I'm just going to clip those bits back up again just so they don't frustrate me all day. So it's kind of the end of the day and my hair is actually looking even better than it did earlier. So I will go to sleep with an invisible bubble in my hair and then see you in the morning. Good morning everybody, it is now Wednesday and this is how I woke up. There's a reasonable amount of frizz but it stayed in place all night which is good because that just means that I slept pretty well. So I have done my makeup and I probably said this in the last video I did like this but I always find if I do my makeup then my hair is so much easier to do because when you have your makeup on whatever you've done with your hair looks like you intended it to do that way. So yeah I always like to do my makeup first and then check the hair situation so I'm gonna see what it looks like. I actually put it up in a satin scrunchie last night and it stayed. It never used to stay in a satin scrunchie when it was short. The invisible bubble is the only thing that works, but the satin scrunchie works kind of great. Now the roots are feeling kind of greasy, so I think it probably will be a wash day today. I don't know, it's not looking too bad. I could probably just clip it again like I did yesterday. But what I might do is just put a hat on and then go to school. So I went out and I put my hair in a little side ponytail and then put on this beanie. This is one of those Carhartt beanies and it's really good. It doesn't create too much frizz in my hair which is great but also I wouldn't wear it on first or second day curls because it would squish the roots down. I really only wear it third, fourth, fifth, sixth day hair and uh, 
yeah, then I don't really mind the roots being squished and I'm usually doing some kind of side braid or side ponytail or some kind of split up do like yesterday, so. So I am gonna wash it today and that is simply because it is sunny outside. I like to do it on sunny days if I can, not always get the option, but I like to do it on sunny days because I know if it's not completely dry on my walk to school, I can walk to school with it still a little bit crunchy and it will still continue to dry out. Whereas if it's raining sometimes, <laughs> The whole effort of washing your hair goes completely down the drain because it just kind of stays moist all day and it just doesn't look great. So I think I'm going to wash with the Naughty products, the Naughty Curl Defining Shampoo and Conditioner and I'll use some of the Taming Cream as well. So I've shampooed and conditioned and I'm going to put in a little bit of this Wave Hello Curl Defining Cream, probably about like that much, not very much. And I'm going to rake it through. I'm going to kind of try and do a little bit of a half and half job today. I want to create some volume, but I also definitely want that definition that's going to last for days because usually when I'm experimenting with new products, it doesn't last many days because I always get the kind of amounts of things wrong. So I usually put in too much cream or not enough gel or something like that. So I usually have to wash more often. So I'm just raking it through my hair until my hair feels like it's not knotty at all. And then I'm gonna use the Dem brush as well. It feels in really good condition. I did do a, like a warm oil treatment a couple of washes ago, and I haven't felt the need to deep condition since then. I might do a deep conditioning treatment next time I wash, just as a sort of preventative measure, but the oil treatment seems to last quite a long time. So much hair falling out at the minute. Don't know if it's postpartum or just change of season, but like quite a bit of hair. <laughs> and I'm gonna dem and brush as well. I just find that the dem and brush gives me the definition that I like. I've chosen the Jessica Spiralicious Styling Gel to use because I think that'll probably work quite well. It's quite a light, but quite a strong hold, but light kind of gel. So it should work with that cream. And I think I'm gonna rake it through today. So I've kind of diffused it, but only to about kind of, I'd say 70% dry, and then I'm gonna clip it and leave it because I've got quite a long time. It's only kind of quarter to 10, so I can probably leave it for like two hours to finish properly drying and crisping up before I scrunch it all out. I'm just gonna take these out. I've got to go get home from school in half an hour, so if I give it a scrunch out now, it should kind of fall naturally okay by the time I get there. Such a hard crunch on the Jessica. So, so strong. Kind of feel like that cream might be sitting in there a bit too heavy. I haven't used it too many times to know, but definitely feels a bit heavy. Amazing definition today. What do you think? Pretty good definition. Not too much frizz either, which is amazing. Okay, so I'm probably set to go and pick my son up just like this. Even though it's a little bit windy outside, it's not raining. And so my hair will probably hold up all right with the amount of product that's in it. So I've come back from the walk and the product held up really, really well. It is quite full of product. That's the only thing that I can say about this. It feels quite product heavy at the roots. So I don't know how many days I'm gonna last without needing to wash it again. I never do shots of the back, so. There's the back. <laughs> so just quickly, I'm gonna take one of these giant jaw clips and clip the top bit away from my face. I find that that tends to mean that I last the second day without that front bit just kind of going wonky. And it means I'm not touching it all of the time. So 
that is what I do when I have a toddler in the house and I have to do things all of the time and my hair's long and I don't want it in my face and basically I'll just keep kind of like otherwise putting it behind my ear and that front piece will just get straightened so this is a solution to that. So it's nearing the end of the day and the curls are pretty much intact. I'll probably just kind of put it up in an invisible bubble tonight and hope for the best in the morning. Good morning everybody, it's Thursday and I have my buff in. I actually had to re-put it on again in the morning or somewhere in the morning just because that happens with me with the buff. So, there we go. This is what is underneath there. I love the buff for just protecting that curl root so you don't end up with that flat bit on top. So you see I've still got all that volume and it is like a little bit frizzy just because it's got so much product in it but I think I'm just gonna let it sit and then see what it looks like in a baby. It's raining so I've got the hood up and tight and this bit of hair needs to disappear in there. <laughs> this is probably why the front pieces always end up straight. So I've just got back and taken my hood down and there's something about my hair today that's just kind of depressing and I think it's just kind of holding itself quite like lank. There's quite a few frizzy bits, it doesn't feel nice to run my fingers through and that is just because I think that cream's too heavy or I put in too much gel or the combination itself didn't really work. So this is why on the Kelly Girl Method when you find a combination that works or combinations you stick to it because otherwise you end up with a bad hair day that you just really want to wash but you know if you wash it then it's just, I don't know, it takes a whole other morning and I don't want to do that. So I mean having said that, look how pretty that bit is at the front. It never holds itself like that. That bit always goes straight, so I am going to do a spot refresh, so I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to take my trusty spray bottle, and I'm just going to find those pieces that are really irritating me. So it's this bit here, which is just really... And this is just straight water in here. probably gosh it almost looks like it's made it even more frizzy this is the problem when I put on too much product and not the right amount and it's just I may as well just spray the whole thing <laughs> so, I have done a proper refresh video so go and check that out if you haven't already you want to make it feel like it's really really wet Enough. My hair today. Well, I did tell you it was going to be a real week in the life, and a real week in the life with curly hair is a frustrating week sometimes, especially in winter. So, anyway, I'm going to clip it, let it dry, and then I'll come back and scrunch it out and put some oil in. So, I ended up being the whole morning with these clips in with that refresh, and I probably could have, it was kind of dry after like half an hour still loving the bits at the front they're looking so nice it is super like crunchy super crunchy oil so I'm going to try using this um, forest and sure hallelujah hair oil just to scrunch it out and I only ever use a couple of drops when I'm scrunching out literally like one two rub that between my hands and then scrunch So it was definitely worth a refresh, wasn't it? It looks so much better. It's just slightly, just like hard, but the roots are softer 
hopefully, than they were earlier. Feels a lot better. I want to be able to be a little bit brutal with it and it to be able to hold up and not look like terrible and it just felt so fragile this morning. So much better. So much better. So now I'm going to go and have some lunch and then go get my boy from school and then I don't know what we're doing this afternoon but the weather's supposed to be much better this afternoon than the drizzle it was this morning so. So we've come back from picking up the boy and the hair is not too bad. It's starting to straighten out here just from where it was like blowing in the wind and I kept tucking it behind my ear and there's definitely a little bit of frizz on the top but it's not too bad, it looks pretty good. So the clip has come out to play again, the big jaw clip. My hair is, I don't know, I'm just not happy with this wash day that I had and all of its subsequent days, which is one so far. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'll probably brush it out, but I don't know, this part actually feels kind of soft now, and this bit, not too bad, it just, something about it just isn't right, and this is one of the main frustrations I have with the curly girl method, is it's not like sure every single day, and I think that's why you'll probably click to watch this video, to hope that you'd see someone who had it together every day, maybe you hoped that you'd see me not have it together every day, anyway. It's real life. Good morning everybody. It is Friday and my hair stayed up pretty well in the invisible ball last night actually so I don't know what to expect when I take it down. Hmm. Oh gosh the roots. Oh my days. I think officially this is going to need a brush out because this is just like a bird's nest. So I think <laughs> I'm not going to go out like this strangely. I think I'm going to just take it all and put it up in a bun because I have like 10 minutes before I need to leave the house. My son isn't dressed. I haven't even made his lunch. Anyway, this is how I'm going to go out today. At least it's clean and off my face. So you guys, I kind of think this is a bit of a no brainer because it's Valentine's Day and Friday. I'm just going to wash it again and I'm going to use the stuff I know definitely, definitely works. <laughs> so I have shampooed and conditioned and I've just done the Denim brush, this is what it looks like straight afterwards. So I'm just going to scrunch it and then put some gel in it. So with the shampoo and conditioner I really took it back to basics. I used the Calia Purifying Shampoo because it's the only thing that I use that's natural that can really just get rid of all of that gunk in my hair and then I use the Inecto coconut conditioner because it's really really light it's also super cheap and it always works a treat for me and then before I use the Demon brush I use the Calia purifying leave-in conditioner and just spritz this all over my hair and then brushed it through it's a super super light leave-in conditioner in fact I wonder if it really does anything <laughs> but I really didn't want to put pretty much any cream in my hair. My hair is so almost over conditioned at the minute. So just a teeny tiny bit just to help the Demon brush go through. And it smells pretty good. It's got rosemary and clary sage in it, which is great for your hair. And then I'm gonna use the very last, there's not very much left in here, of the Kinky Curly Curling Custard, which I am obsessed with. I really, really love this. As you can see, there's really not very much left. It smells so nice. So I've got like a glob. I don't know how much that is. And then I'm going to just kind of pray hands, kind of. <laughs> so I'm really trying to work my way through products at the minute. I've got so many products and I just want to work through all of them before I try out some new ones. So I'm happy when I get to the end of a product, it's really good. So I'm just going to leave my hair to dry kind of naturally even without a clip. I'm going to just try flipping it from one side to the other every 10 minutes or so. And I think when I get to about 70% dry, I'm just going to whack on a diffuser just to get that volume in there and we will see how we go. I usually clip it because I can't really be bothered to try and remember to flip, but I'm going to try and try to remember to flip. <laughs> so my hair has gone really crispy. I ended up putting 
the giant jaw clip. It's like every day I've used this. I ended up putting the giant jaw clip just to keep this off my face because of course I ended up doing some housework. So it's actually gone kind of super crispy. So I think I will just diffuse it and then I will come and show you what it looks like. So this one's feeling a little bit poorly today. So I'm probably just gonna stop with the blow drying there because I did a couple of minutes and she was just like, mommy, I need cuddles. So she's having cuddles, but it is shiny. It's still definitely a little bit damp, but I've got, how long have I got? I've got an hour before I need to go get him from school, but it's looking really healthy. And this is what I was so annoyed with the last wash was it just didn't look healthy. It didn't look like it had been cleaned. It didn't look like it had been conditioned. It looked too full of product. And I like it to look and feel healthy, like shiny and soft. I really go for soft, so even if there's a bit of frizz or even a lot of frizz, if it's soft and healthy looking, I think my hair still looks great. Let me show you the back of it again. I haven't totally scrunched out all of the crunch because it's not totally dry. I'm just gonna wait for the other hour and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like and hopefully this one will feel a little bit brighter. So it's an hour later, my hair is pretty much all dry now, so I'm just gonna give it a really big fluff. Ah, that's how I like my hair to look and to feel, like I can run my hands through it and it feels nice, not like gunky. I don't know, I just like it a little bit wild, a little less perfect, a little bit more like, oh yeah, I totally didn't try on my hair today. That is my hair for today. Happy Valentine's Day. I will see you later in the day. Somehow my hair is looking super nice and I'm loving it. And do you know, it doesn't look too different from what it did yesterday. It just feels different, like so different. So it's just going dark outside and I just wanted to show you that my hair is looking really great and feeling great and I love it and I think based on how it feels it should look really good tomorrow and the next day and the next day etc. So I've just put my hair up in a pineapple and I'm going to keep it loose even though it's like super long and hopefully it will look okay in the morning because I've loved it today so hopefully it will look okay tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it's slightly an unearthly <coughs> hour my <coughs> hair stayed in quite well. There we go. I've gone somewhere quieter and with better lighting. But um, my hair doesn't look too bad today. It feels still really good. I'm just gonna let it sit for a bit basically until my husband wakes up. But it has been a couple of hours now since I woke up. I've just clipped my hair back with tiny clips just so I could do my makeup. But my hair is looking pretty good. So I always do a good fluff because a fluff just makes everything better, helps things sit right increases volume and I think that's why I really didn't like that wash I did before was just because I couldn't run my hands through it and fluff it and enjoy it. But I think it's just nature um, of having longer hair is that certain bits will always get like pulled and tugged the wrong way and with having so much hair it's impossible to, it's not impossible, it would be possible but just hugely stressful to try and make it absolutely perfect and I'm just really happy with how it is today. So it is one o'clock and my hair is looking even better. Like I said, I think my hair always looks better towards the end of the day, but also it starts to clump a bit more so I can sort of loosen some of those out a bit. So we've just been to the shops and we just kind of needed to go somewhere that was inside because it's so stormy, but the hair is looking really good. Hey all, it's the end of the day. My hair has held up really well today. I didn't go out in the storm for longer than about a minute, I think. This bit at the front has gotten super duper straight, where I just tuck it behind my ear. It's like perfect ear shape. Hello everybody, it is Sunday morning. My hair stayed really well in the satin scrunchie, but I've taken it out and this is what is there. I love it. So shiny, so lovely. There's like a little bit of frizz going on over here, so, I'll probably just do this <laughs> and then put some oil in it once I've got dressed. So I've got dressed and ready. I put earrings in today, which is so unlike me. I just clipped it back. Tiny jaw clips. I feel like this is like the theme of this video is like get yourself jaw clips if you don't already because it doesn't 
pull on your hair and they're multi-purpose. So this is the hair, let me show you the back. And I know it still feels really, really nice. Always by this sort of time, like the front pieces, as you can see, are kind of going a little bit crazy. So there's a few things that I might choose to do. Sometimes I will braid, braid it and just put a tiny little clip in there. I actually kind of fancy doing that today. Maybe I will do that. But what I'm going to do first is just put some oil in. So I've just got this um, Forest and Shaw Hallelujah hair oil. You only need... I'm going to do three because my hair is so much longer. And it smells like it's good for your hair because it's got that rosemary in there. So you can get that into the roots as well. Like it's good for your roots and there's not with th two or three drops. Like it's not going to be so much that's going to weigh your hair down. But mostly I just want to make sure it goes over the canopy where the frizz is starting to develop. Go. that is a really good transitional hairstyle because sometimes it's just those pieces on the top and you could do another piece over here just to kind of keep those bits away we keep them protected I'm good to go for the day and my hair isn't in my face and it looks like I tried to do something with it which is always a good thing <laughs> so it is half past three in the afternoon on Sunday and my hair is looking amazing especially in this light look at it this is the sort of hair that I always knew that I had, but it's literally taken me two years to get my hair like this. Now at the back, it's definitely not looking as good as at the front. Um, but I think that's just always the back of my hair in the same way that the underneath of my hair is always a little bit straighter. So it is the evening. Well, like it's bedtime. But I just wanted to show you because I thought it was gonna be totally fine, but it's definitely starting to like not need a wash again because it's still clean but um, there's like these bits at the back <laughs> and it's super frizzy on this side <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Good morning everybody. I don't know what to discover under here. So this is what it looks like coming down. Do you know it's actually not, it's not bad. I have abused this hair so much. What? It actually looks really good could redo the braid but I'm actually just not going to. The weather today is supposed to be kind of a little bit overcast, maybe kind of gonna rain but it's not sure, it's like 40% chance of rain so it probably will rain at some point but it's really not very sure when. And we have a friend to go and see today so we're walking over there so if it rains, it rains and we'll see how it goes. Hey everyone, so it's the end of the day and my hair is pretty much exactly the same way I started the day with. If anything, just more ringlets have formed, like just big clumps of ringlets. Good morning everybody, so it is the last morning I'm gonna film for you guys. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do with my hair today. I did brush it out last night, which I didn't show you because, well you've seen me brush my hair out before. And put my makeup on yet obviously it still feels really nice at the roots actually but I knew this was going to be crazy because when I brushed it out it was it was crazy oh it's actually not too bad oh it feels so nice still yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I'm just gonna put my makeup on and then work out what to do so it's about two hours later and this is what my hair is looking like there are definitely some really poker straight bits like here here this bit I'm not really sure what it's trying to do. Yeah I think I might just clip those bits back like I did the first day. I'm gonna leave it like that today. I may even last another day which would be about normal for me like my roots feel absolutely fine and it's usually when my roots start to feel a bit manky that I actually wash my hair. Anyway this is what I'm gonna do today. Tomorrow I'll probably braid it just a little heads up and that's all folks I really hope you enjoyed this video it's been kind of a long week hair wise like I've kind of gone from washing it 
it but like getting completely the wrong combinations of things to washing it and loving it and just having curls I really appreciate but then like having to do things with the front of it and just I don't know it's been an interesting week and I hope you guys have felt a bit more like relaxed about your own hair journey because I've been on this process for two years I still don't get it right and I hope that this week has taught you that and I hope it's given you a few little tricks and tips for what to do if you get in a bit of a pickle so yeah anyway I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day thank you so so much for joining me bye